Hi, I'm Kimberly Treon, and I'm going to demonstrate IV fluid and med administration. I'm going to start with hand hygiene and gloves. All right, we have gathered our supplies. Uh, we have our primary fluid. We verified our physician's order in the MAR verified the six rights of med administration. We have the right patient, drug, dose, route, time, and documentation. For our primary tubing, uh, we have a mic uh, macro drip set, so 15 drops per minute. We have our medication piggyback. Um, our doctor has prescribed uh, 250 milligrams of amoxicillin uh, to run over 15 minutes. This is supplied in a 100 milliliter piggyback. Um, we have verified also that this, um, the six rights of this medication, the right patient, drug, dose, route, time, and documentation, as well as verbally um, confirmed with our patient and um, assessed in his chart that he does not have a known allergy to amoxicillin. We have a secondary set that is also macro drip at 15 drops per ml. We have our alcohol preps and we have our piggyback hanger. So we're going to start with our um, calculations. So we have our fluid. It's been ordered at 150 mLs over uh, one hour at 15 drops per mL. That gives us 38 drops per minute. Uh, for our amoxicillin, that was ordered um, 250 milligrams, which is in 100 mLs over 15 minutes with our macro drip tubing at 15 drops per ml will give us 100 drops per minute. So we will spike uh, and prime our primary uh, infusion. So on our tubing, we have our spike. Uh, this is to remain sterile. This is what is introduced into our medication bag. Um, we have our drip chamber. This is what prevents air from entering our tubing, as well as allows us to visualize our flow rate. We have our roller clamp. This allows us to adjust our flow rate. Uh, we're going to start with it in the off position. We also have our Y site. Um, this is for medication administration um, via IV, IV bolus or uh, piggyback um, secondary infusion. Um, anytime that we utilize this port, we need to make sure that our medications are compatible. And then finally, we have our adapter end, and this is the end that goes into the patient's um, IV site. So we will pull the top off of our fluid, pull the top off of our spike, and then spike the bag. Since I know I'm gonna be doing a piggyback, I have hung up the hanger and we are gonna put it on the lower hook. Uh, we're gonna squeeze our drip chamber until it is half full with fluid. And then we will slowly open up our roller clamp um, until the fluid has filled our tubing and there are no air bubbles present. And then we'll close it. Next, we're gonna use our alcohol prep and we are gonna clean our patient's uh, IV site, their saline lock, uh, however you are attaching it. We'll give it a minute to dry and then we are going to um, attach our primary tubing. We're gonna slowly open up our roller clamp and we're gonna calculate our, or, um, count our drip rate. So for our primary infusion, we need 38 drops over one minute. So we will time it and we will adjust our drip rate, um, our flow to meet our drip rate. And then we will count that for one whole minute to verify that we have accurate infusion rate.
Okay, we are at 38 drops in one minute. So in the real world, I would allow this infusion to continue, um, but due to limited supplies, I'm going to pause uh, this infusion rate, or this infusion, um, and we'll set up our IV piggyback. So we have our amoxicillin, we have our secondary line, and again, we wanna make sure that our um, line is closed when we spike our bag. Okay, we are gonna hang this one um, above our primary. And again, we're gonna verify that both of our bags are at least 30 inches above our patient's IV site. We're gonna squeeze our drip chamber to half full. We're gonna prime our line by slowly opening up our um, roller clamp until no air bubbles are in the line. Okay, we're gonna get a new alcohol prep and we're gonna take our Y site. We're gonna clean our site with our alcohol. We're gonna allow it to dry. And then we're gonna attach our secondary tubing to our primary tubing. Go back up to our roller clamp. Our antibiotic is um, gonna be at a rate of 100 drops per minute. So again, we will slowly open up our roller clamp until we reach 100 drops per minute. And again, we'll count it for the full minute. Okay, so 100 drops per minute. Uh, we will verify and reassess our patient's IV site. We're going to look for any signs of infiltration, any uh, pain, redness, swelling at the site, um, in which case we'll turn off our infusions. Um, since uh, the amoxicillin is a moderately high-risk um, allergy medication, uh, we'll hang out and we'll watch our patient uh, for a little bit for any signs of a hypersensitivity reaction or anaphylactic um, signs and symptoms. Uh, we're going to put our patient in a position of comfort, ensure that the call light is within reach. Uh, we're going to remove our gloves, discard our supplies, perform hand hygiene, and then document our procedure.